Assalamu alaikum. This video is gonna be on sounds, on how to use sounds for your project. Okay, so let's get ahead. Let's create a new project. Uh, okay, just action script three, the normal settings. Let's let's go ahead and create. Okay, so this is my layer one. Let's just create a three second animation. Insert frame. Okay, here I just put a ball. Like that, we convert this ball to symbol and graphic. Hit OK and go to properties, and then we right click and convert to motion twin. And then let's say this is a three second clip, right? So we go ahead once again, one and a half second, it's gonna bounce here. And during the bounce, it's going to be a little bit like this. Okay. And then on two seconds, it's going to go back to normal. And go up here. And here, it's going to go back up. So basically, the animation is the ball is going to drop and then go up. Okay. You can make it smooth. Uh, depending on the time so I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a first part because uh, the twinning is not our main focus our main focus is how to use sounds so that's all layer one let's name it ball okay and then go ahead and create another layer called base base is just a black line okay where where did it hit around here so we just put a uh, stroke color change to black make it 16 17 and just hit them like this yeah okay oh, oh okay okay sorry sorry it's on that keyframe we want it here right around here okay this is play okay it should be a little bit down let's go ahead and see where it hits around here let's put marker here and then something okay just 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 put something around here never mind yeah okay now yeah never mind because yeah so now we have uh, moving animation and it bounces from here and goes up to there okay and lastly we're gonna do is create another layer and call it audio or audio because we want to use sounds so in Adobe Animate, for the audio, you need it to be in WAV format, okay, WAV, instead of MP3, because they don't really take MP3. Let's go ahead and download uh, ball bouncing sound free WAV, okay.
okay, this website looks good. Like all the audios are free and you can easily download them. Unlike the other ones that needs you to, uh, you know, sign up for download. Okay, I, I'm just going to put the link to this website on on the description of our v of my video. Okay, so I just downloaded one from here, which is a uh, web format. Okay, so this should be easy to import. So we just open folder. We go to animate. We go to library. Okay, we're just gonna import this to our library. So we have our audio here right now. And in this uh, audio layer, we're gonna go ahead and at the time of impact around here, okay, we're just gonna create a new keyframe after here around here and we're gonna get another key from so we want the sound to be played when the ball hits the ground rather than playing all all the time okay so we're gonna go ahead and select this keyframe uh, which we just selected okay go to properties under properties you can see there are things called tools object and frame under frame you can see there's one called sound here from here you can select the sound you want in that specific keyframe so i'm gonna go ahead and select this 5b 5bd you can rename it for your understanding better okay that's gonna be our uh sound then effect we're gonna go ahead and with none even we're gonna go ahead with default and repeat one so here there are two options repeat and loop so what loop does is it keeps on playing until uh every every time the animation is over unless there is a stop command it's gonna play again so the next time that animation is playing you're gonna hear the sound twice so if uh, let's say your animation is playing in a loop which we usually have we don't have stop commands uh, when we test so it's gonna uh, you know 1x every time so after 10 times you're gonna hear the same sound 10 times at the same time so just use repeat okay so now uh, when we play you see the sound is around here it doesn't come on this frame we just try and play I, i'm not sure if that sound is captured on the recording or not but let's just play it here the sound comes around here because that's where the bounce is not here okay so now we want to edit this sound okay we just go ahead and go to effects and this one okay edit sound envelope so here you can see the sound is around here okay but in our frame we just have the first part which is a flat line we don't have any sound there so what we can do is this is a very big audio file right we just cut this drag this down okay we minus this one zoom out so that it's easier to shorten we short it to one bounce sound only now we zoom we go ahead and put it here on here um, here so that way uh, when we have the impact the exact impact this keyframe will only play this highlighted area okay it's not gonna play this uh, flat line it's not gonna play what's after it's just gonna play this uh, highlighted area so that's how when you have a character and a dialogue you just uh, put a keyframe under that dialogue okay let's just say uh, hi how are you that's your dialogue so you record that hi how are you and then you uh, time it if you're not using lip sync you you just time it and in the keyframe you just limit this uh, highlight that line only and the rest of the sound just uh, delete by delete i mean just unhighlight okay and this is how you crop the audio it's basically cropping the audio okay cutting the audio to a smaller piece next is effect uh, there's no need for you to use effects just uh, this crop and lastly this one this white box what it does it controls the volume of the audio okay so if you drag it down like this the volume of the bounce will be very low and uh, if you put it high it's gonna play the full sound okay so uh, for for some time and uh, when you have an animation you have dialogue and you have a you want a light background music okay light happy background music playing so in that case you can have uh, one layer called audio with all the narratives in each keyframes and you can have another layer 
also named audio bg you can name it anything you want and put the background music and put this white box very close to the flat line so that the background music is very mild and it feels and looks nice uh, in your project okay not looks nice it feels nice yeah and sounds nice if you have a calm music playing in the background okay for us we don't need to uh, you know reduce the sound because it's just a ball bouncing we want the maximum sound possible so now let's try this one let's go ahead hit play you can see uh, it's playing at the exact time frame where i want it to play uh, again i'm not sure if it's playing on the recording or not okay but it's playing par correctly right now okay it's playing at the time of Im impact so that's how you can use uh, sound you can <clears throat> select a keyframe go to properties under there you can go to frame and under there you will find sound you can select the sound you can go uh, to this uh, edit sound envelope and then crop the audio and choose and uh, choose what part which part of the audio you want for uh, for your project and lastly you can control the volume or the uh, impact of that audio okay M maybe you want to express a raging scenario so in that scenario you just boost the audio so in usually we can do this in video editing tools we can boost the audio for certain parts but this is how you do it in adobe anime okay that's all the features in sound and one more thing is repeat so i sh i told you what loop does loop does it keeps on playing playing and playing okay and what repeat does a uh, you can select how many times the audio will repeat let's say we have like um the audio is one second but you want the audio to play for 10 seconds okay so in that scenario your audio is only one second let's say only one uh, water drop sound for one second but your clip or your animation is 10 seconds so you want that water drop to repeat itself until the end of the animation instead of looping you want it to repeat so in that kind of scenario you you change this repeat time so you change this one to 10 so in that case, we just play this. Okay, so in that that kind of case, the audio is gonna repeat ten times. Okay, the thing is, for this audio, you cannot play it ten times. Okay, maybe five times. Let's try. You see, uh, I I don't know if you he can hear the audio. So the bounce was five times. Okay, let's just try again. One, two, three, four, five. So there were five bounces because I choose the bounce to five. So why why ten was not working? Because uh, if you give ten repeat, I have only clip until three seconds, and ten is going after three seconds. So that's why the value ten, uh, the animate was not accepting the value ten. It had to be five. So that's how you can add um, sound. One more thing, maybe um, for the sound. Uh, you can go ahead and put sound here. Yeah. Also, in the sound, you can have buttons to control the sound. Like, let's say you have a button around one second, which uh, which says click to go to frame. Which frame is it? Forty three, right? The sound forty four. The sound is on forty four, so you can hit click. Uh, click and go to play 44 frames so uh, when you click the button it's gonna play the sound on that frame as well as the animation on this that frame so that's how you you know, can utilize sound and button at the same time which will be useful in your lab test okay your lab test as I mentioned in live class uh, it's it's gonna be consisting of I'm not sure yet because madam didn't show me the question yet because she hasn't drafted it and it's gonna consist of lip sync buttons and sound so you have to you know really know how to use buttons to play the sounds okay you can google it uh, you can go to youtube for more resources but uh, what i showed in tutorial 2 you can use that like you can go to frame and play in that way the sound will play as well so that's the basics of how to use sound now you can have like uh, for the details sound uh, you can have background mu music to your adobe animation and yeah you can have dialogues narratives and everything okay so sound is very important when you're doing animation that's gonna be all for the sound
Thank you very much for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.